All right, bet. Welcome to Pomegranate Village, a bustling island town getting ready for a big day. Today is the festival, annual celebration of community, instituted by the town's famed Ball Museum. Under the watchful eye of Pomegranate's mayoress, the people come together for a night of fun. Sandwich. <gasps> people come together for a night of fun, sandwiches, pro wrestling, robots, skating, karaoke, and much, much more. Honestly, this is what TwitchCon 2022 San Diego needs to be. Fun, sandwiches, pro wrestling, robots, skating, karaoke. Every year, citizens spend the days before the festival getting ready for the big event. And now we join one such citizen, Prota, who's got big plans for tonight. Fuck. Mom? 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 What's wrong? <gasps> Your mom's a luchador? Your mom's a luchador? I cannot tell you how happy I am right now. How happy I am. <laughs> What's wrong, Prota? Have you walked Minty yet? Sorry, Mom, I don't have time. I was just looking for my shoes. I put them back by the door. I put them by the back door. They were all muddy. Perfect. Thanks, Mom. No problem. But you do need to walk Minty before you go. I wish I could, but I really need to get to the lab. Marbles is expecting me. Prota. I know you're excited to help Marbles with his new toy, but you still have responsibilities. Minty still needs to be walked. Listen, honestly, your mom's a luchador. She's telling you to walk the dog first. It might be in your best interest to walk the dog first. Because normally a mom, you know, might serve up four fresh with two rings. Or mom might get the uh, chunkless. Throw one at you with amazing accuracy, sticks to the wall and everything else. This mom's a luchador. So it won't be none of that. Won't be bring me a switch, none of that. Mom, like you said, John, might take you to Sioux Falls City. Mom might give you Project Champa. Mom might give you a V trigger. Mom might put you in the walls of Jericho. Mom might give you trouble in paradise. Bark, bark. Hmm. Could he do it? No, I need to get back to naming my new suplexes. I'm opening the show tonight. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Brolic mom. Team Brolic, let's go. I feel you, Mom. You gotta be naming your new suplexes. Writing down notes, let's see, we got a uh, Tiger Suplex, we got Dragon Suplex, Belly to Belly Suplex, Gut Wrench Suplex, Northern Light Suplex. I feel like there's a lot more I can do here. I know, Shark, they're all amazing. I know, I know. What about Dad? No can do, Prota. I gotta get to the daycare. The kids and I are gonna put on a little play tonight. A play? Can toddlers memorize scripts? Look, the way they walk out in cute little animal costumes and sing about shapes, we're doing our best. But it does mean I don't have time to walk Minty. Okay. Just take her around the block. It won't take 10 minutes. When do you need to be at the lab? Um... 20 minutes ago? Well, it's off to work for me. Have a good one. Love you guys. <laughs> I love the fact that she's actually under duress. She spills her guts like, I was actually supposed to be at the lab like 20 minutes ago. And dad's just like, 
Damn, that's crazy. Anyway. <laughs> and just changes his, his opacity, his opacity from 100 to 0% in three seconds. Damn, that's crazy. Give him three amigos. Eddie, Eddie. <laughs> What's up, monster? Nice emo. Bye, sweetheart. Bye, Dad. Can I go now? You're walking Minty, Prota. Text Marbles, tell him you're running late, then walk her. After that, you're free, and I'll see you tonight. Okay, okay. Come on, Minty. Bark, bark. This is gonna be a fast walk, okay? You feel like running? Bark? Perfect. In that case, hmm. Bark? I think I've got an idea. <laughs> Alright. I love the overhead postcard view. I love Mario. Proda, where have you been? Hey, Besto. Sorry, I slept in and bark, bark. What? You brought Minty? Pretty smart, right? And my parents said I had to walk her and I was already running late, so I figured, hey, two birds, one stone. Proda, I'm not sure that's a great idea. But why not? <sighs> what? Never mind. Anyway, you should head in and meet Marbles. I've helped him with some final tweaks. Do y'all see the background right there? That's a cat tower. That's a cat tower with a little dangly ball. I think it wasn't a good idea because Marbles might be a cat. But I'm sure he could use a little more help or even just moral support. He seems a little down. Down? Why? Everybody loves seeing his new inventions at the Festa Ball. I know, but I think he was hoping he might get top billing. Instead of, you know, ball of yarn. Uh, the world's most colorful ball of yarn. That's kind of a big deal. I know, I know. It's probably just nerves. Look, why don't you go in there and I'll take Minty on a little walk? Or we all go in together. Marbles and Minty have never met. Prota, I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Is it not obvious? I just realized, I think in the first two uh, cutscenes, they spelled Marbles, M-A-R-B-E-L-S, but the last two sentences, they've spelled it M-A-R-B-L-E-S, and I don't know if that's intentional or not. What is intentional is Don Perignon coming back for 19 months. What's up, Don? What's up, Don Perignon? Welcome back to the classroom for 19 months. You just go in, and Minty and me will see you later. What do you say, Besto? It's dead ass a cat. I knew it. Yeah, Prota, you're finally here. Hey, Professor Marbells. Sorry I'm late. No matter, meow. You're looking chipper this morning. I'm feeling chipper. It was really nice of you to offer this internship. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm only sorry you started on such a busy day, meow. Normally, I'd have more of an onboarding. But I suppose it'll be fun to hit the ground running. Come, Prota. I want to show you what I've devised for tonight. I'm so excited. Good, so am I. I really think this might be my greatest invention to date. Five more months for the A? Don, do you think you can make it? You think you can last? Wow, I, I mean, I really liked your time machine from last year. That old thing? Heh. <laughs> time machines are yesterday's meows. I tossed it right in the bin. Uh, but I like the shrink ray. Boring. After the show, I tossed it right into the very small <laughs> Okay, that's cute. Wow. Okay, so then what's this one? 
I call it the Marbleizer. Tell me, Proto, have you ever felt mixed up, confused, torn between decisions? Just this morning. Perfect. Well, the Marbleizer will solve all of that. Imagine a device that can connect to your mind. And using a complex situational and emotional and environmental analysis, literally steer you to the right answer. Imagine a device that can handle all your useless, petty decision-making. Freeing your mind for better, brainier things. I... Uh... Actually can't imagine that. Well, you needn't because the Marbleizer is here. Congrats on winning the Ligma Festival marbles. You need to stop that immediately. Come, come, let me show you how it works. Here, simply affix this sticker to your left temple and stand within range. You should feel a slight buzzing. I, I do. Brilliant. Now let's try it out, shall we? Oh, and make sure to use the crank or else it won't work. What? Nothing. Now, let's start with a simple question. Prota, tell me, which event is happening tonight? The festival. What the fuck? What? Easy, it's the festival, but I already knew that. Yes, that was simply to test. I haven't actually turned the marbleizer on yet, you see. Now, how about you answer this question? What is the annual rainfall in cubic hectares of Crabapple Valley? Oh, uh, okay, well, um, if you take the first part of the equation, then pretty challenging, isn't it? Yeah, I've never really been good at this kind of thing. Well, let's turn the marbleizer on. Don PW is my marbleizer. Well, I felt that. Good. Now let's try again and make sure to use only the crank. Oh, make sure to only use the bottom half of the crank. The bottom half. Okay. Dot. Okay. Let me ask you again. Brota, what is the annual rainfall in cubic hectares of Crab Apple Valley? Gulp. Don't fuck this up, Adrian. Don't fuck this up, Adrian. Nine million two hundred thirty thousand three hundred forty three. I think it's 9,230,343. What? <laughs> Whoa! I definitely didn't know that before. Of course you didn't. But your mind was able to parse a thousand little decisions with great confidence and finally arrive at an answer. You see, it only draws from your own considerations. But it knows to discard what it doesn't need, use what it does and produce an answer you never could have gotten to alone. That's amazing, Marbles. You're a genius. And, wow, actually, now so am I. Exactly, Prota. We are all... Prota, look out. Minty wanted to come in and... Bark, bark. Aw, oh, hey, Minty. Did you have a fun walk with Besto? Bark, bark. Bark. Oh no! Anime! This is... This is the exact encounter we've all been waiting for. For sure. Uh, yo? 
crash. Bark, bark, hiss, bark, grr, meow, meow, hiss, bark. Oh no, the marbleizer. Zap. Minty, no, don't run away. Smash. Did we break the marbleizer? Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Is everyone all right? What in blazes was that beast doing in here? Uh, she might be my dog. And it's possible I brought her from home. Oh, I... Oh, no, 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 no. The marbleizer. She knocked my water jug right into the works. Crota, you seem dazed. I think... I think I got zapped. I... My head feels a little fuzzy. We're getting superpowers. It's like a Marvel film. This is a Marvel TV series now. This is our origin story. They blame the beast. You're the beast monster. What's up, Danatot? Smash? I know. Well, first disconnect yourself. And now let me ask you a question. Prota, what color is an orange? Oh no. Oh no. What the fuck? Uh. <laughs> he legit just says, uh, that's funny. <laughs> what color is an orange? Uh. How many of you could answer this question without cheating? Cubic hectares. Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. That's not right at all. 11 cubic hectares. Wait, no. 30, 30 sandwiches. I'm going to get it. Just give me a second. I, I think it's minty. No. Through context clues, I assume minty is the name of your dog. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, where is she? She booked it out of that door before I could get her. Oh no, we gotta find her. Prota, I'm not sure you're in the right state to do anything. No, 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 I'm fine. I was just confused for a second. Okay, well, you know Minty best. Where would she run if she got off the leash? Uh, the beach, the grocery store? No, 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 Doc Sandwich. Wait, maybe the skate park? Professor Marbles, do you mind if I take Prota to... Yes, yes, go. I need to focus on fixing the Marbleizer. And I don't need that dog coming back. I'm really sorry. We think nothing of it, Besto. Science is an imperfect art. And also, I would like to not be sued by either of your families. Rest assured, your internships are safe with me. In the meantime, I still get to fixing Marbleizer. Maybe... Maybe she's on the moon. Oh my gosh, she loves the moon. Let's go, Prota. Can I phone a friend? No. You can phone the moon if you want. I can't believe they got me all mixed up now. <laughs> the hanging letters in the background spell yay reading. <laughs> Yo. Yay reading. Okay, this is gonna be fine. We're at the best possible place to figure this out. The library? <laughs> Minty can even read. I, I don't think she can read, but... Minty doesn't need to read. It's everybody else. Sheesh, Prota. You've never lost a dog before? All we gotta do is put up signs and someone will return Minty to you. So, then why are we at the library? Because we need to make a hundred copies of our lost dog posters, and this is the best place to do it. Couldn't we just go to paper clips? They're the biggest office supply in the town. 
You know I can't go back to paper clips. Right. But I can't remember why. They remember why. What did you do at paper clips? You fucking in the stalls? Same. I would have thought the hospital would be the best possible place to figure this out, but best to clearly didn't get marbleizer powers over the posters, not for the okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like your energy, though. <laughs> all right. You wiped out on the laptop aisle in front of all the new trainees. And you had... What was it, a milkshake in your hand? We... We can't do this right now. Fine, right, okay, so what should we do? You should get some paper. Pick a great picture of Minnie and decide what to write on it. And I'll stand over here, eating this bag of drifties. You're not gonna help me? I'll supervise. You know, Minty better than me anyway. And let's be honest, you've got the superior people skills. I guess I am widely loved. Okay, let's do this. I guess I'll have to pick the paper. Mm. 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 Sorry, yes, paper first. Nightbot, thank you. That's right, retweet my going live tweet. No one needs that many photocopies of your dick, Besto. Well, the thing is, Martin, Back in the day, you couldn't just send dick pics through DMs or Snapchat or text. So the only way you could do it was just making photocopies and handing them out to people. Or mailing them. Oh, this is neat. How oh, cool. Mew. This is neat. I like this. Oh no, I don't like it any longer. I still like it, never mind. Sandwich wrapper. What's the other one? Hold on. No, 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 no. I don't want sandwich wrapper. Of a choice. I'll take it. Well, I found this. Is that an old sandwich wrapper? Yep, my very own Doc Sandwich. Doc Sandwich. Eat. I love that slogan. But I'm not sure I love the wrapper. It's kind of greasy. Hmm. Maybe the grease will catch the light? And the spots will really make it stand out. I don't know. Well, this has been a whole lot easier. We just went to paper clips. Okay, okay, we'll use it. But what do you want to write on it? This is funny. Analog dick pic delivery route uphill both ways in the snow. And yeah, back in my day, if you really want to show someone your junk, you had to walk 10 miles both ways in the snow. Yeah, Dan Taj, I also hope you've been doing well. Not more than John, but I would say whatever John's amount is, that minus like two. Not that it's a contest, because it's not. Help? We can do better than that. Is this you? <laughs> Yo. Is this you? Hell nah. That's great. I don't want help. I do like is this you though. That is pretty funny. Is this use the wave for sure? 
Have you seen this dog in your dreams? I hope not. Done. What do you think? Is this you? Yep. Proto, how do you think lost dog signs work? You put them up everywhere and hopefully the right person or dog sees them. You know, I think, well, maybe people will get the point if we pick a good picture of Minty. Oh, I've got plenty of those. Minty is one photogenic pup. Well, which one should we use? Exactly, Devante, just like that. This you? All right, Devante, we gotta choose a picture. You ready? What's happening this way? Hold up. What's this picture? We'll never know. F word. But. Obviously. Zoomed in? No. No. No, 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 no. We all know what the answer has to be, right? But. But and cheat. What's down here? Perfect. Guess that's my picture. It's definitely my picture, too. As captain of Team Butt. In the Team Butt Brigade. I keep missing the butt. F word, S word. Zoomed in, perfect butt pick. Brandon, you're thinking the right way, honestly. Why not combine them all into one masterpiece? A perfect zoomed in butt pick. One thing I look forward to every day and I don't get. DMs open, ladies. This reminds me of the Accused of Zero Telephone Club minigame. <laughs> yeah, where you choose the right answer on the phone club to get the most points to get the right answer. Yeah. This one's perfect. You sure this is Minty's best angle? All of Minty's angles are her best. Yeah, this is her butt though. And what a butt it is. Okay, well, time to print. Let's do this. And here we go. Poster of some dog's butt. <laughs> Is this you on a sandwich pack wrapper? <laughs> what the little grease? What the grease? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A sandwich bag wrapper with a dog's butthole. Is this you? That's great. That's good stuff. <laughs> it's this you dog butt. We do new, we do have a new channel. I'm I'm screenshotting that right now. Hold up. Screenshot. That is my new Twitter header. That is my new Twitter header. Easy. The only thing is missing is the strips people to tear off with the answers being. <laughs> yeah. Come back and just see two left. What do you think? I think it's gonna get me my dog back. Me too, Proto. Where should we start putting them up? Hmm. 
not sure. How about Doc Sandwich? Minty's a big fan. And all the foot traffic means more eyes than the posters. I like it. Perfect. Maybe we can split up. I'll put these up elsewhere and you head out. We'll cover more ground that way. Perfect. We'll circle back on this later. See ya, Besto. Wait. What? You sure you're okay to do this solo? You're not feeling confused? It's fine. I got a little mixed up earlier, but I'm feeling right as snow. That was a joke. I'm right as rain and I'm good to go alone. Plus, you should probably get back to Marble's lab as soon as you can. I'm sure he can really use your help getting ready for tonight. Well, as long as you're going to be okay. Good luck, Proto. I'm sure you'll find her soon. But thanks to your help, I'm sure I will too. See you later, Besto. There's only a single sandwich wrap p -p 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 plot hole. How can there be a plot hole? Oh, because the top of the sandwich bag wrapper has a giant hole in it. I get it now. Ah, <laughs> Good morning, welcome to Doc Sandwich. Hi Doc, how's it going? Eh, yeah, pretty okay, you know how it is. I don't, that's why I asked. Eh, yeah, it's busy. I've been spending all day thinking about tonight. I gotta make something real special for the festival. If I'm being honest, I'm kinda stumped. Well, if it's any help, I really love the sub toe submarine you made last year. I know, folks kept coming in afterwards telling me I barely noticed how flavorful it was. It's a real tough one to top. Anyways, you probably didn't come here to ask me about sandwiches. You don't think I came here to ask you about sandwiches? How could you tell? Eh, you know, I get a feeling for these kind of things. Ha, ah, maybe I should have gotten a degree in psych instead of medicine, huh? I bet you could have, because you're right. I'm here about my dog, Minty. Minty, how is the little pup? Missing. Missing? Missing. Missing, huh? That's a heck of a thing. I'm sorry to hear it. And I'm afraid I haven't seen her, if that's what you're asking. But, <sighs> hey, I mean, I don't know much about dog catching, being just a doctor or a sandwich guy and all, but what if you made Minty's favorite sandwich and used it as a kind of bait? Bait? Yeah, you know, you always come in here with her and get her a nice sandwich. So maybe if you do that now, it'll remind her of the compass of her normal life. And she'll come running. Interesting. Heck, I'd be happy to throw it together on the house. Really? Doc, that would be amazing. For a kid as nice as you, it'd be my pleasure. Except, I don't exactly remember her odor. Do you? I think so. He does have a stethoscope. So he's a doctor who's licensed. <laughs> and works in a sandwich shop, which is why he's called Dr. Sandwich. It makes you call into question all the doctors you previously heard of. You know, like Doc Martens. Doctor or not? Or just a name? Dr. Scholes? Actual doctor, right? Dr. Pepper, right, another good one. I'm not sure they have a doctorate in Pepper. I don't care how many secret flavors they have in their Dr. Pepper. What is it, like 7, 9, 11? 7, 7, 7, 9, 3, 11. Doc, you mean Terry? Stop it. Perfect. I'll start it out on our classic Doc sandwich bread. Now let's throw in some protein. What do you think Minty will go for? Choose a protein. Hey, uh, hey, Tofu. Choose a protein. Wink. Wink. Winky face. Protein powder? That's... Want a sandwich? That's disgusting. Ostrich? That's disgusting. Shit. Ham. I mean, ham is probably the best way to go. 
You know, Dana Chaz, the problem is you go to the gym, you have a nice pump. Oh my God, I got protein powder instead. I had a nice pump at the gym. I got a down it. I'm out of water. Got no milk. Just throw it on some rye bread, baby. Let's go. Pre-workout protein powder sandwich. Balboa, can you imagine going to the gym? You start stretching. You know, you're doing your arm rotations. You see a homie reaching for their bag, pull some protein powder. You're like, all right, nothing unusual about that. You hear them whispering, shit, I got my bottle. And they just pull out this long baguette bread, cut it in half like they're at Subway and just dump in the protein powder and they... <laughs> they got those coughs you get when you have too much powder in your throat. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that for TikTok, by the way. A new TikTok tomorrow, uh, me eating protein powder uh, sandwich. Look forward to it. Those boing boing noises are pretty satisfying though. They are, maybe there's a game mode where it's just nothing but boing boings. Can I get beef? Uh, Tofu, I have bad news and I have worse news. I've got it, I remember. She'll want protein powder. Minty muscles, we call her. Minty muscles, ah. Huh. Does she work out? Well, she's definitely doing a lot of running today. <laughs> okay. Nah, I'm no dietitian, just a GP. <laughs> I'm just a general practitioner, not a dietitian. Perfect, let's do it. Now, if she's health conscious, I bet she's gonna want good toppings on that, right? Definitely. What else do you have? Oh yeah, give me them boing boings. Tofu, brother. Hell yes. Give me boing boings as well. Me some out cauliflower. Cactus. Lettuce. Honestly, Cauliflower's low tier. Give me that cactus. Is there anything else here? Not just that. Cactus. I want cactus. No, I'm just kidding. I want lettuce. Oh my god, lettuce and protein powder? That sounds disgusting. Shit. No! Way harder than it needs to be. No, 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 no. I just want my lettuce dog. Quit playing with me. No, I don't want cauliflower. I'm hitting everything except for fucking lettuce. Uh-oh. Let's go, lettuce gang. I always feel like I never get lettuce. Lettuce, let's go. All right, I have a sub goal, right, of 500. If we hit 500 subs, I will eat this sandwich. Dead ass. If I either hit my debt-free goal, which is right up here, right? My debt-free goal or 500 subs, I will eat a protein powder and lettuce sandwich. Lettuce. Let us make the best sandwiches for Minty. Whoa! Lettuce does sound a lot like lettuce. I tell you, they don't teach you stuff like this in med school. You're in a real gym. Thanks, Doc. Now, let us finish this sandwich with some condiments. Thank you for gifting out a sub culinary disaster to Blue Chimp. Let's go. Let's make the climb for a lettuce and protein powder and whatever else is going to be sandwich. How's this self-harm? Did you know, Tofu, that you can eat protein powder? Raw? You really can? It's not advisable per se, but you can depending on the protein powder. And ain't nothing wrong with bread and lettuce. Bread and lettuce is just bread and lettuce. So it's not self-harm. How can I not support my culinary design? Yeah, that's cute. You're right. Thank you, CD. 
Technically, you can eat anything at least once. Not ass. Once you eat that, you come back for more. I guarantee that. Fucking from experience. Alright, what condiments we got? Mayo? I mean, if it was Miracle Whip, I'd think about it, but... What the fuck? Guava jelly? Oh my god. Hot wax? Oh my god, I've got to avoid that. Give me the jelly. Give me the jelly. Give me the jelly. We cannot do hot wax. That's self-harm. No mayo. That's white people. No, dude. No hot wax. Soros Rex. Oh, thank God. Oh. Exhausted. <laughs> Yo, is right. Balboa, listen. The more I think about it, if I had chosen hot wex, I probably would have hit my sub goal. But at what cost? I'm back and digest wax. So. <laughs> wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. I get it. Get it? It's shredded because of the protein power? Stop it. Part two. Let's have guava jelly. A taste of the islands for minty. Ah! You're making me hungry with your condiment selection. You get it? Jamaica's an island. So, figured that might be a fun joke to make. It was. I liked it. Great. So I guess we're wrapping up this sandwich, huh? Let's see what we got. Okay. Here's your, uh, I guess I would call this a green muscle builder on island time. Yo, why is there cauliflower on my sandwich? There's a single, like, cauliflower sprig on my sandwich. You know I didn't choose cauliflower. Where's my lettuce? Where's my lettuce? Boo, tomato. Get it, tomato? <laughs> Boo. It's a lettuce tree? No. No, 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 no. This is not what I ordered. Oh. Yeah, not uh, not bad. But I guess I'm not the judge, right? Nope, this one's all minty. I guess I'll just take it and... Prota, look over there, the door! What? Minty, Minty, it's you! Bark! Minty, I'm so glad to see you. Come here, girl. I've got a sandwich for... Um, um, um. Ah, she took the sandwich. Quick, grab her before she's done. No. Wow, that's the fastest I've ever seen a dog move. Fancy, come back. She seemed to like the sandwich, at least. I'll take that. But now she's gone again. What am I going to do without bait? Maybe we can make another sandwich? A dessert sandwich? First of all, Dessert sandwich? Amazing idea. You're a little genius. But second, maybe you need a different kind of bait. Like what? Hmm. Uh, dogs like balls, right? Minty certainly does. Then how about the ball museum? Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go and check the ball museum. Watch out, though. I think it might be closed till tonight. Don't worry. I've got a friend who works there. I'm sure it'll be okay. Ha! Seems you got friends all over town, huh? I do. Which reminds me, thanks a lot for your help. And the free sandwich. Eh, don't worry about it, Prota. You're a swell kid, and I'm happy to help. Plus, you gave me some great ideas for my sandwich tonight. It's win-win, yes? I'm glad. Now I gotta run. I'll see you at the festival. Take care, Prota. Is this still Lost Marbles? It is. It is. And we lost our marbles, so we have to use our lack of marbles to choose the right slash right answer. It's a freaking crocodile. 
Explore the world of balls. Know your balls. Hi there, welcome to the world's most colorful ball of yarn and ball museum. I'm Croco, and oh, hey, Proda. Hey, Croco. Wow, so the ball museum has a new name, huh? Yeah, management's really going all in on the new attraction. It's the star of the show. The world's most colorful ball of yarn is going to be the talk of the town. How colorful is it? Can you give me a little sneak peek before the festive ball? Oh, no, heck, I haven't even seen it myself, but I'm pretty excited for the unraveling. Plus, they gave us these great shirts. I was wondering about that. Boy, boy? Ball of the yarn, boy. No one's gonna know that acronym. No one's gonna know that B-O-Y stands for ball of yarn. Huh. I like it. Thanks, but I bet you didn't just come here to admire my t-shirt. Can I help you with something? I hope so. I'm looking for Minty. That's your dog, right? Yep. I was supposed to be spending the day with Professor Marbles in his lab, and he planned to unveil his new invention tonight. But there was a bit of an incident, and Minty ran away. And you still haven't found her? Not yet, but I have a good authority that this is a good place to look, and it makes sense. Definitely, you know what they say, balls are a dog's best friend. I don't know if people really say that. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a chat poll. I need y'all to help me out here. Because I don't know if that's true or not. So we're going to vote and find out. Is that what people say? Do people say that balls are a dog's best friend? One minute. There's the poll. Do people say bogs are a dog's best friend? Possibly forever. Is that a saying? Do people be saying that? Bring oh your yawn ball of yarn, boy boy. You just you just swinging at everything, huh? It's like you step into the batter's box and it's not read the pitch, it's not watch the rotation, it's like I'm swinging at everything. Batter's box, above the knees, below the knees, outside, inside, I'm just swinging. Ball's almost over. Do people say balls are a dog's best friend? Oh, I know. I was quoting our lowest selling shirt. You know what they say, balls are a dog's best friend. <laughs> well, I can see why it's the lowest selling. Someone waited to the last second to vote in the opposite direction. Classic. Classic class talk, y'all. Your Australian internet doesn't allow you to do anything. They can't all be winners. So I guess you haven't seen Minty then, huh? Afraid not, bud. I've just been working on... Hmm. Hmm. Well, I was just about to say I've been working on the window display for the festival. A showcase of the best and brightest balls in our museum. It's something to draw folks in. I wasn't sure which balls to use, but maybe if we pick some of Minty's faves, she'll be enticed. Not a bad idea, Croco. I like it. Let's set the perfect Minty trap. Great. 
management says I should use one sports ball, one food ball, and one nature ball. Let's start with sports. Which ball do you think Minty would like the best? Hmm. Which sports ball would Minty like the best? Oh no! Pretty close to cooing my last po. What? Nothing broke. Except me. Cute, 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 cute. Hamster ball. Eight ball. What's that last ball in the corner? Hamster is a sport. <laughs> you never played hamster ball before? Dog, we used to play it all the time. We actually had varsity lettering for uh, hamster balls at my school. But only the elite, you know, got it. Hockey ball. <laughs> F word. How about a hamster ball? A hamster ball. Yeah, nice clear plastic ball. Furry little round boy inside. Is a hamster ball for sports? It's for hamster sports. Hmm. I never thought of it that way. Plus, I bet Minty would love to chase a hamster ball. And the hamster would get a great workout. It's a win-win. Perfect. I love it. This will attract the crowds and Minty. Let's do the food ball next. I will refund you all for your points for voting on the prediction. Tofu, shame on you. Ice cream ball sounds delish. Muy bien. Muy bien. Oh my gosh. Oh no, 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 slow down. Nyum. F word. Cuss. This is way harder than it looks. Boing. Pomegranate. Nah, pomegranate is kind of whack. I don't even like pomegranate, TBQH. Then again, I guess I'm just different. I don't know. Bleh. I just want that middle one, because I feel like the middle one's the hardest one to get, which means it's probably the best answer. I'm about to coo my last po though. I'm going to tell you that right now. Pizza ball. Oh, my God. Say less. I want that pizza ball. Oh no. Oh. <sighs> I've got the best one. Get ready. I hatched ready. Pomegranate. Pomegranate, our town's namesake, and the only fruit where you eat the bones. What? Haven't you had a pomegranate before? You just open it up and crunch through all the bones. You think those are bones? Fruit bones. I'm extremely excited to hear your answer for Nature Ball. Y'all ever just eat fruit bones? I mean, I don't know how many of y'all are built like that, but like to eat some fruit balls, like you eat all the fruit and then you think to yourself, you know what? I ain't done yet. Oh, pinball. Oh, every time I close my eyes.
the moon. That's a nature ball? <laughs> nature ball Ric Flair, am I right? Boo! Boo streamer! Pufferfish! Yo! Cat! Nah, I want the pufferfish. F word! The moon it is! The moon it is! Did you know he's Filipino? Ooh, culinary disaster? Okay, hear me out. The moon. And the moon. It's definitely a good ball. So, like, we would put a paper mache moon in the window? What about a mirror pointed at the night sky? So, you want balls, and then next to those, just a mirror? <sighs> True. Maybe it would help if the mirror was also a ball. Like a disco ball. Perfect, do you have one of those? I mean, obviously, it's a ball museum. I'm just not sure that counts as a nature ball. It does if it reflects the moon. What are you picturing? Actually, no, don't tell me. Let's just try this out. 20 minutes later. Welcome to the ball museum. Come and see a hamster ball, a pomegranate, and the moon. Coming soon, the world's most colorful ball of yarn. What do you think? I'm feeling pretty good about it. How about you? The proof is in the puffing. Let's see if it draws Misty to us. Minty. Minty. 15 minutes later. Guess it didn't work. I mean, plenty of folks are checking it out. But yeah, no, Minty. What do you think we did wrong? Maybe it was the food ball. Why do you say that? I just mean, maybe Minty's not interested in window shopping. She loves eating, so if she's hungry, why would she taunt herself with the food behind glass? Okay, interesting angle. Walk me through it. I don't know. Who wants balls if you can't play with them? Who wants food you can't eat? Who wants balls if you can't play with them? Who wants food you can't eat? Dorian, they agree with you. True, true, but then what do you do next if you can't lure them into you through a window? I don't know, I guess I'm really in a pickle. God, that's a great idea. I never thought of it myself. What? Wait, you didn't mean... The Pickle Yard. If Minty's hungry, what better place than the only place in town with unlimited mo- Oh my god! Yo, unlimited mo- sticks, I be smashing. I'm gonna tell you right now. If I find out any place in my vicinity has unlimited mozzarella sticks, I'm smashing. I've had unlimited breadsticks. I've had unlimited Cheddar Bay biscuits. I have never in my life had unlimited mozzarella sticks, but I promise you, oh my God. Mm. The pickle Yard, the Olive Garden, that's all right. Monster, that's literally a joke you would make. That's literally a joke you would make. Hence the unlimited mozzarella sticks. Unlimited sticks. Interesting, interesting. She does love a mott stick. Who doesn't? I could eat those things ball day every day. Croco, I love that. Thanks. I think I'm gonna head over there and see what I can see. You're okay here? Oh, I am. With the crowd that's gonna be here tonight, I could use a little rest for the moment. Perfect. I'll see you tonight, friend. It's been great. You're the best. I'll see you then. Wrong person. So long, B-O-Y boy. Boom, 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 boom.